What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another Big J Basketball box break video. Thanks for joining us. Today we're doing some 1920 Absolute Memorabilia. They just came out last week. This is the Hobby Box with five cards per pack, two packs per box. Um, should be two autographs and two memorabilia cards in every box. So each pack should have an auto and a memorabilia. Um, you can see in the background there, we don't have anything waiting for us. I'm confident we're going to get something good out of here. Um, we haven't had too much luck with our prism breaks. The blasters and the mega boxes pulled a couple of semi decent cards, but no real big hits. So I'm hoping for at least one big hit out of this box. So uh, retail price was 130 on this. That's about what I paid. Um, I got this on eBay actually before it released. Tried to get a box off Panini's website for the retail of 130 as soon as it came out, but of course, uh, got skunked on that. Sold out before I was able to uh, complete my purchase, which is pretty typical with those Panini online releases. So if anybody wants to kind of look what you can pull out of here, you can go ahead and pause that. So tons of autographs. These tools of the trade um, are auto patch, you know, multi-swatch signature things with pieces of basketball and jersey and and all kinds of stuff. There's jumbo basketball memorabilia cards. Uh, there's jumbo hat cards, which is kind of an interesting thing. I guess they take a picture of a guy wearing a hat and then take that hat and throw that on the card. So let's put our box over here. So these are our two packs, almost like the size of like a pack of playing cards, basically. We got Steph Curry and Rui Hachimura on this. Let's do, let's do Rui first. And we'll do Steph second. We'll keep keep Steph waiting there in the wings. Let the rookie go first on this one. All right. Well, not pack number one. So we can already see our first card there. So no surprises. So we got a Colin Sexton on the front. So that's the one of the base cards. So again, five cards per pack. I think there's two base cards, one parallel, and then our auto and the memorabilia. So should be a nice short video. I'm not gonna do a super, super slow roll on this. I know sometimes those can get kind of annoying. Um, so we're just gonna see what we can get. All right, so there's the first card, Colin Sexton. These are thick cards too. I can feel even the base is a really uh, thick stock card. Not sure where the other base is. If that's on the back, uh, let's just go for it. Uh, so the Colin Sexton is the first base. Joel Embiid is the second. So there's one of you want to see the back of the card. There you go. And again, it's a it's a really it's hard to focus, but it is a much thicker stock card, uh, probably a 7,500 point card. The other base is Joel Embiid. So next three cards should be uh, the hit, uh, sorry, the autograph, the memorabilia, and the numbered, most likely a numbered parallel. So who do we got here? Carl Malone, mailman. Is this an auto or is this a memorabilia card? All right, veteran swatches. I don't think this is even numbered. That's kind of underwhelming. Very plain white swatches, no numbers on that. Yeah, no numbered on the front or the back. At least it's game worn material, so that's good. But kind of a boring uh, swatch card there. So let's hope this next one is something a little bit better. So who do we got now? Nasir Little, rookie auto. It's an on-card auto, not a sticker. Numbered 49 of 49. Not too bad. I'll take that. Definitely a little bit better. At least it's numbered. It's an on-card. It's my first on-card rookie auto that I've pulled from any 1920 product. If you remember my certified box breaks that were just terrible and I got nothing but sticker autos, this is a nice, nice break to at least have... Uh, something 
something numbered. And then here's our parallel, and it's Zach Levine, numbered to 199, 134 of 199. So nothing too special there. So let's go ahead and real quickly sleeve up the uh, Malone and the Nasir Little. I'm hoping these are not the two best cards out of the entire box, but you never know. So in case these are the best we get, we'll go ahead and put these two guys up here. I'm really disappointed this uh, Swatch card wasn't even numbered. I was kind of under the impression that um, all the hits would be numbered coming out of here, but apparently not. Okay, so that's box number one. So Rui treated us okay. Let's see if Steph can treat us a little bit better. So hopefully we can get one of those uh, tools of the trade rookie signature swatch cards um, with multiple multiple pieces on it. Uh, let's see. So let's have our base in the front. Okay, so base cards. Darius Basley rookie is the first base. And let's open it from the back here. So first base is a rookie, Darius Basley with the Thunder. Not sure how much playing time he's getting. I've watched a few Thunder games. I haven't seen him play at all, so not quite sure about him. Next base card, Russell Westbrook. Uh, they still have him in his Thunder uniform there. All right, <clears throat> let's get to the hits now. Jalen Noel. Oh, and we, <laughs> I've seen this in other breaks. Enclosed player worn used material. It should say and autograph. And you can see it's blacked out with a Sharpie there. Are guaranteed by Panini America. <clears throat> so they got really lazy instead of uh, either putting an autograph on it or uh, getting, you know, reprinting the card. They just kind of X'd over it with a, like a black Sharpie. So it's again, not numbered, plain white napkin card. Not too exciting. So I guess so far the Malone and the Nastia Little are the two better cards. Can we get a better autograph out of here? Carson Edwards. It's a sticker auto, not on cards, numbered to 175. Uh, looks like there is a piece of a basketball there. And three jersey pieces, or I don't know if it's a jersey or shorts or warm up or what but no patches there all single color green number to 175 it's the back of the card carson edwards so here it says player one material and autograph so this actually has an autograph on it so it's not uh uh not you know they don't have to black it out like they do on the other one and then our numbered card is ooh, it's four of ten so it's a really nice, super short print. Unfortunately, it's Dylan Windler. I seem to be pulling more of him, his stuff than anybody else. I think I pulled three of his base rookies out of Prism before hitting a Zion or a John Morant. Uh, I do like that it's super short printed, so four of 10 is not too bad. I don't know how in demand Dylan Windler cards are, but I'll take a gold parallel, super short print. That's not too bad. And there's the back of that card. Okay, so quick recap. Uh, so, again, the base cards, nice and thick. Westbrook, Basley, Rookie, Joel Embiid base, and then the Colin Sexton second year card. Uh, our numbered parallels were the Zach Levine, looks like a red, number to 199, and then the Dylan Windler, number to 10. So, nice super short print there. Autographs, we did get one of these tools of the trade cards. It wasn't Super short printed, it's numbered to 175. There's no real nice looking patches here. It is kind of a little dinged up in the corner there too, as a lot of times these thicker cards are. Uh, Carson Edwards with the Celtics. The rookie threads of Jalen Noel, just a single color napkin patch. And then out of the first box, we got the Nasir Little, numbered 49 on card auto, rookie auto. And then the Carl Malone, again, dual swatch, um, but just a plain white 
not a multicolor patch or anything like that. And again, this was not numbered. So all in all, not the worst box, um, <clears throat> but again, not the best either. Uh, but it was still a fun rip. Um, if you guys can find this for retail price or close to it, it might not be a bad deal to go for it. <clears throat> but I wouldn't recommend paying any super inflated prices. I think uh, places like Blowout were trying to sell this for over $200 and then quickly drop their price. I think they're at around $150 right now. So even $150 might be a little high. If you can get it for a little lower than that, I'd say try and go lower. Um, but that's our absolute memorabilia break. Uh, we'll be getting back to some prisms soon. I have some hangers uh, from Walmart that just came in with the orange ice parallels. And uh, a couple other things, uh, some 18, 19 stuff that I'll throw in there as well, uh, just so we don't do all 19, 20 prism stuff. Uh, but appreciate all you guys watching. Uh, make sure to throw them some comments. Let me know what you think about this product. And uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. And definitely always check out Big J Basketball Instagram. We're always adding more content there. Thanks for watching, guys. See you at the next video.